And he's writing to them to tell them, look, you're getting it all wrong. You're doing this because you're trying to compare yourself to other people. That's not what this table is about. This table is designed to get you to compare yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I've been waiting all week to say this line here that's going to show up. When the Bible talks about examining ourselves, what it's really calling us to do is to undergo a spiritual cross-examination. And that spiritual cross-examination is about us reflecting on what's our calling in Christ and how does our living match up to that calling. The spiritual cross-examination is about us looking at Look at what Jesus did for us and how am I living in response to what Jesus has done for us? Where am I falling short? What do I need to repent of? When you read the Psalms, the Psalms will actually do the same thing that Paul is calling the Corinthian church to do here. Uh, take, for example, Psalm 19. Let me show you the way Psalm 19 ends. It says, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. When I was growing up in church, I, didn't, I thought this verse was out of place. Like, I didn't understand why this verse was here. Like, if you look at Psalm 19, it's divided into two parts. The first part is, it declares the glory of God being revealed in creation. And then when you get halfway through the chapter, it now starts talking about not just the glory of God in creation, it starts talking about the greatness of God revealed in his word. Then I thought, why is this verse here? I didn't realize until this week why it's there. Because after you reflect on the glory of God in creation and you reflect on the greatness of God in his word, how should we respond? God, examine my heart. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Could you imagine if this had been our theme verse over the last two years? If we as believers had said, you know what, I'm not going to get sucked into this hatred and polarization that's taking place in the world. God, I just want you to make sure that the words that I speak and the thoughts that I think are pleasing in your sight. It doesn't just happen in Psalm 19. It also happens in Psalm 139. 